This video provides information on how to adjust the vacation owed for an employee. After an employee is saved, the vacation owed field becomes unavailable for edit. In this example, we have an employee with a $300 amount that has been previously paid out and is deemed to be incorrect. What we want to do is to adjust the $300 to zero. We need to create two supplemental time cards to accomplish this process. Our first step is to adjust the vacation rate amount to 10% and then save our change. Our first supplementary time card that we create will use the regular rate of pay with amount 10 times the amount we want to adjust. In this case we want to adjust the $300 so we're going to enter $3,000 and this is amount will be negative because we want to reduce the vacation owed amount. We click the total button and we want to ensure that the benefit and deductions, federal tax, CPP, EI, and insurable earnings are set to zero. Click print to process the time card. You can now see that the vacation owed amount is zero. Now, by processing the supplemental time card, we've reduced the year-to-date earnings for the employee by $3,000. We have to correct this by doing an additional supplemental time card. We need to set the vacation rate now to 0% and then save our change. The second supplemental time card we have to use is set to regular again. The amount, this time $3,000 positive. We click the total button, ensure the benefits deductions, federal tax, CPP, EI, and insurable earnings are all set to zero again. Once that's done, we want to set the vacation rate back to 4% and then save our change. Now if we click on the time card tab, you'll notice that we have a negative and a positive gross pay of $3,000, correcting the year-to-date earnings for the employee. This concludes the knowledge base article on how to adjust the vacation pay for an employee. Thank you.